I think most people have a wonderful image of what summer is all about. It's this idyllic time for kids. It's a wonderful time for kids to be kids, uh, to experience recreation, a break from the, the normal routine. And we've had that kind of cultural idea of what summer is all about for a long, long time. And I think what that does is it masks an underlying reality um, that for many kids and for many families in this country, summer is a, a time of profound risk, a time of profound setback, um, a time when families and kids really have to um, scramble to find quality choices and opportunities and programs that provide the kind of enrichment that kids need. We're pleased to be partnering with organizations in Gilroy, Fresno, and Oakland that are expanding high quality summer experiences for kids and providing the kind of enrichment opportunities that we know more kids need. What we're trying to do is provide an opportunity for kids who might normally just sit on the couch and do absolutely nothing all summer. Provide them an opportunity to actually be involved and, and gain some kind of knowledge in all kinds of different areas. Everything from how to eat healthy to literature to video production to dance. They're exposed to a wide variety of activities. And what happens is they're actually engaged and their minds are, are doing something in the summer. And I think that that helps uh, with the summer learning loss, which is a big, big issue right now in schools. This is a, a new experience for our, our summer program. We were able, been able to take, grow on our experiences we had last summer and with the support of the Packard Foundation and the Bay Area Partnerships, we've been able to provide a bigger, more robust program that's in, involved more students and more activities. So the students have been more engaged and entertained and wanting to be here. I really believe that they come back after this program educated. They are more educated about um, making choices in terms of what they eat. Uh, they are more aware of their physical being. Uh, they are much more aware of how to de-escalate conflicts and th they're learning here. And it's a great opportunity for them to continue their learning during the summer. And once they jump back into school in the fall, they didn't have that big break of not having a classroom, so I think they come to school more prepared. Kids really need the lift, particularly to maintain their grades and maintain the grade level that they've accomplished during the year. They're giving kids opportunities to get academic support, as well as fun, engaging experiences during the summer where they're getting outside, um, they're taking field trips. Everybody, what do you guys want to look at? We have cherries Oranges. over here. Oranges. Oranges? All three of these programs have a focus on literacy and making sure that kids have opportunities to read. All three of these programs have a focus on outdoor activities, outdoor experiences, and all three of the programs have a focus on nutrition and making sure that kids are physically active um, and that they're engaged in the kind of enrichment experiences that, that we know more kids need. Dad, we should call some somebody to help. Importantly, I think th what we're seeing in the programs is real innovation around learning and around a, the approach to learning and we're hearing from staff already about ideas that they've tested during the summer that they want to take into the school day, into the school year, into their after school programs and we're finding that having this kind of freedom and creativity during the summer months can also help fuel some really important changes during the regular school year. We're learning about responsibility, fairness, trustworthiness, and caring, caring for other people. It's just a great example of three communities where there are quality programs collectively serving about 1,400 kids this summer who otherwise wouldn't have access to this kind of experience.